All right, we are now at the part of talking about red flags. Man, everybody wants to know about red flags. And what we're learning in the series, and if this is on TikTok, if you're seeing this on TikTok, definitely go back to my YouTube channel and you want to watch this entire series where we're talking about how to get from being lonely and tired of toxic relationships or attracting these women that are toxic because, you know, you're drawing them to you. You're this kind, empathic Christian man that's young and you're successful. You're between 25 and 32 and you've got it together. You've gone to school. You've done all your, but all that you need to do to be the best you can be. You've got your car, your place, everything, but you're attracting these women that it's like, you know, you got something on your forehead. And so you're like, why do they keep being these women that cheat on me? And I mean, I, I'm seeing all these things about modern women on YouTube and everything, and, and they're all negative things. And it's just like, well, well, what kind of woman would I end up with? Well, we talk about this in the series. And I go into it a little more, and I introduce the idea of traditional modern and how we are as Christians, but we can't get rid of the modern part because we're already there. But how can we do it as Christians? How do we navigate that? So these women are cheating on you, or they, they you can't share your faith with them, or you, you can't grow in your calling with them, or any of those things. And what you want is somebody you can share your life with, and that you can share what you you've already accumulated in terms of your degrees and your money and your car and all the things you've done, but, but there's so much more to you. You want to have respect. You want to have this joyful, lasting marriage. You want to be have someone you can share your faith with and you can be pleasing to the Lord and one day possibly have a godly family with. So this series really takes you through all these things that I'm doing in my course to help you with that. My name is Patricia Evans and I've able, been able to do it. I was in the same boat and so was my husband. And my husband was able to do it and I was able to do it. And we have been together for eight years and married for seven. And we've been, I've been through so much. I'm what they call a Hayoka empath and I've been through so much. Highest, rarest, most powerful empath, which you think you want to be, but you don't want the, what comes with it, which is a very difficult life that I wrote about in my book, Resilient Joy. I give you the tricks and the tools and the all the formulas that I'm using to help you now. And if you need my help, I'm here for you. All right. But now I'm talking about red flags and to pull this together, what we learned so far so that you know, is that we learned that setting boundaries and doing that properly will help you detect red flags. And for example, if you set a boundary saying that, you know, I don't want to talk about that right now. And the person says, well, I do. That's a red flag. If you say, I don't want this, but I do. That's a red flag. So go onto my YouTube channel if you want to know more. And those of you that are here now and already know what, I, um, what I've been doing in this series that I'm talking about right now, you know that we're already at the part of the series where we're talking about the red flags. Let's talk a little bit more about that. I wanted to make sure that anybody coming in from TikTok or any of the other places, they know what we're up to. But this is what we're doing. We're pulling this together. And we want to hone in on what I did and what my husband did. What we did, what he did was he set a boundary. And what it did, what it, he set a boundary. And when he set that boundary, and you can do it in a question, you can do it in a statement and whatever it is. And I'll give you some examples is this, it's like a test because what you're doing different from what you would want to do with an um, insecure attachment style is you don't want to make it easy. You want to make it easy for them. So it works because they look good and you see them and it's like, oh, finally met the person. They could possibly be the person. Maybe the Lord led you. This is the person. You still got to go through the steps because you still, if she is the person, you need to build these building blocks for it to be special later. You can't skip because you found out that this is probably the person. You Now you now it's got to count, okay? But in order to be sure, so you don't have to go backwards and see if they are, this is the right person, is you're going to set a boundary and you're going to say something or you're going to ask a question. And if she is excited about hearing that question and can't wait to answer it, you know, it's like, when did you... Um, um, how long have you um, been coming to the church and serving? And what? why do you serve? Why do you love the Lord? Things like that. What brought you to loving the Lord? The, wrong, the woman that's not Christian and really doesn't have a deep relationship with the Lord, she will be offended and not like that question. That's a red flag. Yes, yeah, a Christian red flag. If you ask her deeper stuff where you're, you're not just drinking milk, those are baby Christians, but you're eating um, meat, and you ask a question on the level of eating meat and she does it, it's over her head. That's a red flag in terms of unequally yoked. 
That means, and look that up in the Bible if you don't know what that means. That means you both are not at the same level to be able to grow for a marriage together. And you know, that's okay a little bit, especially if you're the lead. She can be a little bit, but she can't like not be a Christian at all and not care about being Christian, but she just goes to church and she just lives a life just like those modern women that are low level thinking that cheat and that all they care about is what you look like on the outside, what you have on the outside, and they're not interested in you for real. That's not what we want to continue to attract. We want to attract the woman that wants more of who you are so that she can build a life with you. That's the woman we're trying to attract. So how do you find that early on? You ask certain questions. You say certain standards. And when she asks things that are, you're not comfortable with, you say in a kind way that you're not, no, that's okay. I, I, I'd rather not talk about that now. But you know what? Let's make sure that we talk about that after we've known each other a little bit, okay? And if she's like so excited and is in for the long haul and she's like, oh, that's fine. That is, a, that's green go. If she gets intimidated by that and she almost look like she's going to die, that is a sign of some kind of disorder, some kind of dysfunction, some kind of attachment style problem. Because now she's feeling, if you look at the series, we talked about how there are attachment styles where you can be feeling like you need to grab on or you're going to lose them or that you don't want to get close. If she feels a, a, the fact that you're pulling away in her mind, you are pulling away from her and you're ripping yourself apart and you're never going to come to her. That's what she hears when you set that boundary. And that's a test to find out what does that evoke in her? So boundaries go hand in hand with finding red flags. You use boundaries to help you with red flags. Sometimes there's no boundary in, in sight at all. It's just the person saying something that's just off the charts. They don't have boundaries. They want something that's way ridiculous. You're having a conversation and now they're like, you want to come over to my house tonight and spend the night? That's out of control for the first night as a Christian. No, that's a red flag. A woman is asking you if you want to come over and spend the night and you just started dating with her, dating her, red flag. Now, listen, this is the deal. And I've coached men on this and I've coached many men on this. And this is the big question I want to ask you as men. This is the part that really frustrates me over the years. You say you don't want a modern woman that are low level modern because there's nothing wrong with being modern uh, as long as you are traditionally modern. My husband and I are. There's no, we talked more about that in another video. If you want me to talk more about it, please comment below and I'll explain what I mean by that. From the Christian perspective, we are in a world where we're all basically being modern for the most part. So good luck finding a woman that's not modern. You know what I mean? Like we're in the modern age. What are we supposed to do? It's her values that you're looking at. What does she do with her degree? I have a post-master's degree. I have all these degrees. I'm a leader. I have a nonprofit business. I'm so more outgoing than my husband. I'm the speaker. I lead a lot. And you would think I'm the stronger, you know, the leader. And in a lot of ways, I am a servant leader. Like I do share what I want my family to do as a mother. And they respect me. And he calculates and prays about it and sees if that's what we're going to do at the end. He makes the last call. Period. Because guess what? He's going to be the one that's going to be responsible for what happens in the household. That's why he has to be the lead because he's responsible, not me. I will be responsible like Eve if I lured him in the wrong direction. But ultimately, if he allows it, he's responsible. That's why we have to be equally yoked so we're not pulling each other in the wrong directions. So if a woman wants to spend the night with you the first night... And we're saying we're Christian traditional. We're looking for a lasting, joyful, lasting marriage. Those are the big no-nos because the statistics show premarital sex are the reasons why these marriages are not working. Think about it. You're not respecting the, the union of marriage. So you've met, you're sleeping with a man that's not married. That's not your husband. So that means you are the kind of woman that sleeps with a man that's not your husband. You're the kind of man that sleeps with a woman that's not your wife. That means you do not respect marriage. So you are going against it and you're putting things in this foundation that is going to have a big, large chance of failing later. And what? So you don't need to be watching me then. So what, who's watching me is someone who wants a joyful, lasting marriage. That's what we're about here. And that's not everybody. I'm not for everybody and that's fine. But I have a joyful, lasting marriage, and I know everyone wants that, but this is the, the pet peeve I have with a lot of men. You say you don't, want the, you don't want these women 
Well, first of all, we say we don't want modern women, but years ago they, they wanted women to be to bring more to the table. I'm living long enough to, to see where a lot of men were saying, what are you bringing to the table? What do you bring? And really hurting women that way. We're finally doing that. And now men are bashing women for being modern. I'm older than these guys that are on these YouTube channels talking about modern men, women. Okay. So they're young. You, it's like the blind leading the blind. Don't follow that. Follow the men who are grown, that are mature, that are, have developed mental stages that are higher than the sixth grade or high school. Don't follow other boys that are mad that they haven't gotten the woman. And a lot of these guys probably are doing it right, but they need content. You've heard me say that a lot. So be careful following them. They're hurting. You need to undo that. Unravel that if you want a woman. She can read that you've been watching it by the way you act. Well, that's one thing I don't like about men. This compartmentalizing. You say you don't want loneliness to be undermined and to have women cheating on you and all this other stuff, but you're not willing to do the things that you need to do to get the right woman or to be attracted to the, to, the, to these um, characteristics of the right woman. You're so into this woman that's about sex early. She's about her looks and she likes the fact that you have a car and it gives off this dopamine that makes you just, it's just so intoxicating that, but you complain about it. So you're in this like wheel. Insanity is what it's called. I'm not here for that. I'm here for you to break out of that because if you tell me, a coach, someone that's about breakthroughs and a coach, I want this. That's my job. My job is to get you to get that. And I can detect right off the bat when you really don't want that. Because you're saying you want it, but the first thing I tell you to do, you don't want to do it. Well, you can't get that. So look, you are detached from your feelings. Call me when you know what you really want. Because what you really want is that girl that sleeps with you the first night and likes you for your car and your money. And you don't, it doesn't hurt you enough that she cheated on you and that she cheats you bad and that she's slowing you down and she's possibly going to take all your money one day and all the hard work that you did and possibly will ruin your relationship with your family members. It, it, you really aren't upset enough about that to really work with me. When you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, that's when I show up. You know, when the, when the, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. It's deep, right? When the student's ready, the teacher appears. I'm not going to appear until you are ready to really get a high value woman, a woman like me, a woman that is here for the long haul, a woman that's going to work with you and is going to be your ride or die. She's with you. She loves the Lord. She's going to do these things with you and you're going to see these signs and I can help you see the signs early when you're looking for the red flags. So the red flags, let's just keep it real, the opposite of that. Any woman that is discussing and celebrating that she does these things that are opposite, those are red flags. How simple is that? She's bragging about how she's like a man. She's bragging about how I don't like guys opening the door for me. I don't like that stuff. I think it's corny. Why are you giving me flowers? What are you going to do wrong? She's toxic. She's got issues. She's got a lot to work through and you're not going to fix her. So just like you got to be ready for me, she got to be ready for you. You can't make her ready. So a red flag is a woman that's not ready, basically. And the thing she would say is, would you like to spend the night with me? Um, um, I love your car. Um... You know, I love, I look for guys that have cars like you. Eh, please. So you think it's a compliment that you're, you won the booby prize of a woman that was looking for a guy with a car like you? That's a compliment. I don't care if you don't think you're attractive. You need to decide and be in one with yourself. Do you want what comes with that woman or not? Because if you don't want what comes with that sexy, pretty girl that may have actually had fake stuff done or may have some things going on to make her look like that, but when she washes everything off, there's a lot of insecurity there because she may not even look like that for real. I mean, I've had a beauty channel. I've had a channel with hair and stuff and I know how to enhance my, that's what I taught women back then to not over enhance yourself. The man wants to see who you really are. Add a little makeup to who you are. Don't completely wear these lashes that that drown out your eyes. You gotta take them off one day and he's gonna see that. Y'all gonna have children one day and he's gonna need to know what the children are gonna really look like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean like, come on. 
This is real stuff where we're talking real, right? So the red flags are kind of simple in the sense that uh, beyond the, the boundaries of her coming over your, stepping over your boundary, that kind of red flag, her own boundaries, does she have any boundaries? So the red flag for you as a man is, am I with a woman that has any boundaries? And the kind of boundaries you're looking for are traditional boundaries, like a Proverbs 31 woman. This woman, she shines, her jewels shine from within. So she's going to be talking about the things that are going on inside. That's what she, what is she talking about 80% of the time? That's what's going on inside. 80% of the time. What is she proud? Not, you know, with people that are insecure in the first few days, they, they feel like they're on an interview and you kind of are. So they're just like, I this and I'm better here. And I'm the listen to the way she's talking. And be gentle, be kind, be respectful, but keep yourself, you know, guarded in a guard your heart because you don't have to be mean. The way you respond to these red flags is say, hmm. So would you consider yourself a Christian? People don't line up with what they say. This is what red flags are. Write that down. If something you heard at the beginning of the conversation doesn't match up something she said in the middle, that's a red flag. I'm a Christian and I sleep around. I'm a Christian and I do only fans. First of all, she does only fans. Come on. But I'm a Christian and I'm okay with things that are not aligned. Now, listen, if she is doing things as a Christian that's not aligned with things you do, um, sure, there are discernible matters. But if you're going to be the lead, this is what you have to lead. You know, so if this, if you're starting to see a picture being painted, 80% of it is totally off of the things that you've aligned with. These are a bundles of red flags that you need to now be honest with yourself and ask yourself, as hard as it's going to be for me, as beautiful as she is and how flattered I am that she likes my car and she likes my this and my that, I'm going to have to moonwalk out of here. I'm going to have to cut this short. This is not what I'm looking for in a woman. And if you can't do it yourself, go to your coach. Listen, I could be your coach. You can go ahead and click on my web webinar and learn more about how I do it and see if that lines up with you. And same way with us, we have to line up. So if you click on my, my calendar link because you're ready to work with me, let's make sure that we're having that first date, you know, like we are lining up, honestly. And if I can do that for you, if you're ready for it, are you there for the teacher? Am I the teacher for you? And so... Click on my Cali link, see if we are a good fit. And I also want to share with you that the Lord has actually told me and, and asked me to do free 25 free sessions, 25 sessions for 25 men. And they are worth about $225 an hour for you for free. If all you need is for me to just do one little session with you and you want to you want to take advantage of this blessing that God is giving me to give to you, or if you're just ready to work with me. Remember, a session is not the same as actually having this transformation of becoming what you want to be long term. Okay, it's just to help you with what you're going through right now, and then even from there, it'll teach you more about how I work. Okay, I'm so delighted to bless you with that. You have no idea. So, as a Hayoka empath that's empathic and loving and giving, this fits me so well. I don't understand all of what God's doing with that, but in obedient, I want to give that to you. Go ahead and click on my calendar link, and we can either start the courses course with me, or you can go ahead and take the gift that God is giving you. And you can also click on my web, my free webinar so you can learn more about my course. This has been an amazing series. I've loved it. I've had a great time teaching you all the things that, um, some of the things that I deal with and I help you with in my course to get you from lonely, tired of being, being in toxic relationship and attracting the wrong woman that undermines you and doesn't respect you and cheats on you and someone you couldn't picture sharing your life on, with a, in a godly relationship, growing in your business, growing in whatever you're doing as a leader, someone you can't even see yourself leading. It's like, wow, all these things I'm supposed to do. I can't really see this in this woman. And I, I mean, I keep attracting them. And I want to be a the kind of guy that attracts a woman that can be a, a wife, that could be have a joy, joyful, lasting marriage, respects me, grows with me, and actually add to what I have, not take away. Add to what I'm doing physically, emotionally, mentally, and financially, but doesn't take it away. Come on, guys. Let me just tell you something. You can build all the money that you want. If you have the wrong person in your life, it will be torn down. You can build the right health. That will be torn down. These things you're building, you cannot continue to build it with a toxic person. So you need to be able to attract the right woman for a, a joyful, lasting marriage if that's what you're looking for. And so that's my expertise. I want to help you. I look forward to talking to you soon. Well, God bless you. Bye.